Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm not on camera because it's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm not dressed for it. I'm actually in my pajamas, so we shall not be seeing much more than my hands today. However, this is my blush collection and I want to see if I can pare it down. And I hope I don't have to scratch this video because I can only get rid of like one blush. But I'm not going to be able to swatch everything because, as you can see, I, A, kind of have a lot of blush, and B, my lighting's not perfect for it because it's super dark outside. Let's get started and let's see what I can get rid of. Let's see, first off, I, these are actually in my weekly makeup basket. This is my Maybelline Master Matte by Face Studio Cream Blush in Flushed Up. That is it right there. It is obviously not going anywhere because I'm trying to use it up. This I just bought and I actually really do love it. Or I've loved it the first couple of days I've used it. It is a hard candy glow all the way blush. It is kind of like a highlighter and blush together. And this one is called Sunburst. And it's very pretty. I just swirl them all together and use it as kind of like a highlighting blush thing going on. Those obviously are not going anywhere, but I cannot necessarily say the same for the rest. Oh god, where do I start? I guess I'll start from the top. This was actually in my makeup basket last week, although I didn't film that. This is actually one of my favorite blushes, and I know y'all are laughing because it's from Color Mates. It's a dollar blush. And I will swatch this though, but it is the marvelous blush. Makeup and their puns. It looks super dark, but I actually kind of love that these don't have a crap ton of pigment to them. So that looks perfect on me, but you could totally build it up and get a darker blush if you have a darker skin tone. I love this. I would totally recommend to anybody to get down to your Dollar Tree and pick it up. So that's definitely staying. Another that I know is staying, despite it now being broken, I broke this when I filmed my blush collection. It literally fell on the floor. And I almost cried, because at first I thought it might have actually, like, broken, broken. But this is Savvy by DB Classic Blush. Uh, Little Miss Artsy, or Hannah, sent this to me from Australia. Just pull this off. It is a very beautiful blush. It's in the color Petal, so... Despite my clumsiness, this is definitely not going anywhere. I'll stick all my not going anywhere stuff together. Okay, this is the Fox in a Box by Hard Candy. It is in the color Smooth Talker. And I don't know, let me swatch this. I've only used it for like one makeup basket. Is it right there? That doesn't really show up much at all, does it? I mean, I'm one of those that can definitely go for my blushes being lightly pigmented, but it's not really showing up much at all. I guess I'll declutter that. Hmm, what next? Oh, I know this can go. This is the Blushing Rose but from Melissa Autry from that subscription bag I had of hers, or Melps, for a couple of months. This has, like, next to no pigment. That's actually mostly from... Yeah, see? This has, like, no pigment to it. So, uh, what I'm probably going to do with most of these is I'm probably going to sell them on my auction account. I do have the link down below if you guys care. But I'm not even going to sell this. I'm actually going to give this to my cousin's daughter. She's like young. She's about 10 years old and she loves makeup. So I'm going to sanitize this and actually give it to her because she can just play with that. Okay. Here is the Dream Bouncy Blush by Maybelline in the color Orchid Hush. I have yet to figure out exactly how to wear this. I mean, the color is really pretty. Like, it's just this pretty, well, orchidy color. You know, that Pantone color of the year from. Was it last year? Yeah, because this year it's like some mauvey, pinky, whatever color. I don't know. I don't keep up with that very well. I have yet to figure out exactly how the best way to put this on. 
So I tried it with a beauty blender, which is how I usually use my cream blushes, but it didn't really work with this. So I don't know. I'm going to try it again once I do finish up my other one, but I think I want to actually project pan this next year. So I'm, I like the color and I think I'm, I think I can use this up pretty easily because I've always hit pan on it. Like I know it's because the product moves around a lot, but I'm going to hold on to it for now, but I think I'm actually going to project pan that next year. No, I know I'm project panning this next year, and I actually do really love this, but it's just so small that I think I could do it really easily. It's the jo Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelé in Pink Escape. I've seen a couple of people project pan this, and it looks kind of ooky because I used it with a the Elf Stippling Blush in the past. So that will also be hung on to, both because I do enjoy it, and I'm planning on project panning that next year as well. <laughs> Because I actually find cream blushes to be really easy to project pan. Like, sometimes they take a while, but they're something that I can easily wear every day and still put something else on top, and it look completely different. Ooh, I love this. This is the Julep, what is it exactly called? Skip the Brush Blush Stick in Golden Guava. That is it on the top right there. After I said I wasn't going to swatch that much, I'm swatching most of them. I really love this, so this is definitely staying. Let me roll it up to show you how much product comes in it. It actually comes with a good bit. There it is right there. And of course, if you're into that sort of thing, there's plenty more in there that you could probably dig out. Here is my Clinique Cheek Pop in Peach Pop. This has been worn down, but this is definitely not going anywhere. This is staying. Another thing that's definitely staying is my other Maybelline Master Glaze by Face Studio. These are the Master Mattes. They were with a limited edition this year, but normally they're called the Master Glaze. And this one is in Make a Mauve. That is it right there. I, guess I really love the formula of these. So it's also staying with me. This is beautiful in the fall too. I'm project panning this right now, but if I wasn't, I would probably be wearing this a lot. You're also not going anywhere. This is the Elizabeth Mott Tint and Sass Cheek and Lip Stain. It's basically a Benefit Benetint knockoff. But, I mean, I've already used about a third of it almost. So, yeah, I use, when I'm not project panning a cream blush, I, this actually winds up in my rotation a lot. Because I really like it. Uh, this is the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Boho Chic. I'm sure most people have seen this before. This is definitely staying. Oh, you might be going. Uh, this is actually a Bare Minerals loose powder blush in Laughter. And the thing about it is... I can't figure out how to put this on. Well, I mean, I know how to put it on. I stick it on a brush and I put it on. I never get the right amount. I either don't get enough or I always get too much. So... And it's not a super unique color to my collection, at least. I do have a decent amount of, like, corally blushes. So, honestly, I don't even really want to fool with loose powder stuff. This... Is this my last cream? Yeah, this is my last cream blush that's in here. I do have a Clinique uh, cream stick blush somewhere. I think it's with my stack of new stuff that I forgot to pull it out. I'll go grab it in a little bit, but just to show you, but I'm, I'm obviously keeping it. I would say obviously, but there's actually a new thing in here that I swatched last night, and I know I'm getting rid of it hilariously enough. I'll show you all that in a bit. This is the Flower Cream Blush in Primrose and Proper. I actually got this on like half off because I think they changed their packaging. If I can open it, I'll show it to you. Am I opening? I am opening this right. All right. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to open it wrong. I don't open it under that. This is it right here. It's not super unique to my collection, but I really like the color. I mean, this is just a color that I happen to really like, and I like the formula, so I will hold on to that for right now. This was a gift sent to me by uh, Juicy Fashion 11. She sent me a little tart blush. This is in the color Classic. That is it right there. It's not the most pigmented of the Tarte blushes, honestly. 
but I like it. That's it right there. So I'm definitely keeping it. Eh, this one's hard. This is the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Life's a Cherry. Now, if you guys can go to Ulta and grab one of these, or if you're in a country that just sells Essence, like, in a normal drugstore, get one of these and feel it. They are the softest things imaginable. But... I picked the wrong color, because I was buying this online, and it looked a lot more... It looked a lot more easily wearable online. I picked an awkward place to swatch. There we go. That's how my knuckles. That was smart. So this is a beautiful formula, and I bought this because I bought a bunch of Essence stuff because I wanted to do a review of a bunch of the line for my channel. I can't wear this blush, though. Like, despite it being an awesome formula, it's really pigmented, but this is actually, this color is, I can't wear this. I'm far too pale. I look like a freak. So this will be decluttered as much as it pains me. But I will probably buy another one in a lighter shade. That is nothing about the formula itself and all about I bought the wrong freaking color because I bought it online. I have these two little MUA blushes and as you can see they are beat to crap because Little Miss Artsy sent me these from Australia and they exploded in delivery as you can obviously see. I'm holding on to them but I'm not going to open them. This is Marshmallow. Actually I will open it just so you can get a good look at it. I would just be careful with it. That, this one might actually have to be repressed soon because it's starting to crack. And this one is in the color Candy Floss. So just a light baby pink. I like, I love the formula of those. This is my one cargo blush. I bought it in a duo, a blush and bronzer duo from Birchbox website. I don't think I paid anything for them. Or I paid very little for them. They were like $30. And it shows up super pigmented on my finger, but when you swatch it, you don't get as much of the color. But it's really pretty, so I think for now I'm going to hold on to it. We'll see how much I wear it like next summer, and if I don't wear it a lot, I will declare it then. And the final thing in this box is my one MAC blush. I bought this on a blog sale from Strawberry Sweet. It's in Divine Desire. There it is right there. Holy crap. I think this is nothing but hard pan. Ah, uh, this is awful. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to go get something to scrape this with. Okay, now that that is taken care of, I, it was like complete hard pan. I have no idea what happened. This is what it actually looks like, so I'm hanging on to that, but I'm gonna keep that in mind. <laughs> that freaked me out. I was like, oh my god, what's wrong? Also, while I was out, I did grab my Clinique Chubby Stick Cheek Color Bomb. I do love these chubby sticks for uh, cheek color. That is it right there. And I also grabbed a makeup wipe so that I can, as I want to, swatch and show you guys what things look like. That is obviously saying. And here is my other box. So I'll just go down the line because these are all actually like organized. <laughs> it was that other box that kind of just got the overflow. All right. Here's my Milani blushes. This is Delizioso Pink. This is one of the matte ones from the collection. It is staying. And because I have this is why I'm get I know I'm getting rid of something in here. Actually, let me just go ahead and pull that out. I literally just bought this. They had all of these discounted at Walgreens, all the Wet n Wild Fergie line, so I bought all the blushes. There's like three of them. I bought a lipstick and a regular Wet n Wild blush that I have in here too, but it is the color Blush with Danger. And it's not because it's just, you know, the same color or a similar color. This is chalky, and the other two, I've swatched them before they aren't, but that's why I'm not, even though I literally just bought this, I paid less than $2 for it, so I know that I can just sanitize this and sell it on my Instagram account, and it'll be fine, although I'm saying on who's like, it's so chalky, 
but if somebody wants to buy it for me, they are welcome to it. So that will be going away. And the thing is, the formula, the other two aren't chalky. I don't know what's up with this one. So that is not staying. Anyways, back to the Milani blushes, which might be my favorite, or it's one of my two favorite blush formulas from the drugstore. The other one actually is the regular Wet n Wild. This one is in, the brush just fell out, Dolce Pink. I actually decluttered one of these earlier this year because it was just so dark, I couldn't wear it without looking ridiculous. This one is in Berry Amore. And this one is in Red Vino. And yes, the one I decluttered was darker than this. I sold it on my Instagram account. That's what I do with a lot of my makeup I wind up decluttering. Like, unless it's just, I know it's awful. Like, that Wet n Wild Fergie blush could probably still be worked with, despite it being, you know, on the chalky side. I just have a color exactly like it. I didn't realize it when I bought it. Anyways, this is one of the Argon Oil blushes for Physician's Formula they came out with at the beginning of this year. Is any color rose? I actually got this for free with couponing. Like between coupons and I think I had CVS Extra Care Box, it wound up being free. And it is super pretty. So you are staying. This is my one NARS blush. It's an orgasm. We all know what this looks like. I won this in a giveaway. So it stays. I like her. This is my powder julep blush in the color Your Happy Look. It is a pore minimizing blush. I don't have much like that, but I really like it. Ah! I know I said like, I'm not swatching anything. You build it up a little. There it is right there. Here's the other two Fergie blushes that I bought, and I like both of these way better than that one. This one actually surprised me. It is Brush With Destiny. And here it is right here. Oh, they're, they're so soft, you guys. And like, these aren't nearly as chalky as those, so that's definitely staying. And this one is Brush With Brilliance. It's definitely a more summery blush. There it is right there. Wipe off our hands again. So glad I got this makeup wipe because apparently I decided to swatch everything, even though I said I wouldn't. Like I said, this is my other favorite drugstore formula. I've had pearlescent pink for a while. She definitely stays. And this is the other one that was on sale. I think they're cha they're ch White Mild is like changing their packaging of their regular blushes, so they're trying to get rid of all the old ones. This is Mellow Wine. She is definitely going to stay. That is it right there. She definitely stays. It's actually gonna be a pretty good fall blush. This is the one that I love the formula of, but I don't like any of the other colors. It is the Maybelline Master Highlight Highlighting Blush. Mine is in the color Pink Rose. This is another one that when I use it, I don't use a separate highlighter with it. So if you want, go pick this one up, but none of the other colors are really suited towards mine coloring. This is actually a really good one, but I rarely use it. But every time I declutter, I swatch it, and I'm like, no, I love it. It is the Femme Couture Mineral Flex Floral Blush in Soft Spoken Pink. Like I said, when I swatch it, I fall in love with it again, and I never get rid of it. I just, I need to quit buying blush so that I can work old ones into my rotation, honestly. Physician's Formula. This is the Nude Wear Blush in Natural. I've used it so much that I've worn off most of the pattern. I just swirl all four of them together and do that. It's a light blush, but it can be built up pretty well. It's the one in the middle. I like it, so I keep it. This is another one that Little Miss Artsy sent me. It is a smooch blusher from War Paint Cosmetics. Fortunately, I don't know the name of the color. Whatever. Ah, 
bright pink. It actually looks a lot like the Milani one in Dolce Pink or whatever it was. The matte one. Where did that go? Yeah, blushy, 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 blush. Where for art thou? Here we go. I thought you were like, do I really need to hang on to both? Okay, they're actually not alike. The Milani one's darker. Whew, I was worried. I might have to get rid of one. Let's see. This is a sleek blush in the color Pixie Pink. Open. I think that might be like the Milani one. No, they're all different. It's weird, like in the pan, they all look similar, but they all swatch complete, not completely differently. I mean, they're all still pink matte blushes, but you, get, you guys get what I mean. If you're, a if you're a blush lover, that's like, those are completely different. Okay, here's a Jordana blush. This is in the color Blushing Rose. I love this formula, but it's such a pain in the butt to get. You can only find them at like Target, not Target. Target would be easy. You can only find them at like Kmart, which I don't even know if there's a Kmart anywhere near me, but there's one in my hometown. So when I go home, I go and I look. My mother actually bought me these for Christmas last year. This one's an Apple Cheeks. This is the one red blush that I can have because I know how to use it. Like you see that swatch and I'm like, oh my God, that's so pigmented. How can you wear that? This is one that I can tap my brush in once, get enough product for me to wear but not go overboard like this the essence one even if i just tap my brush in it i get way too much product like i guess because it's so soft you could just way too easily pick up product all right my nyx blushes my powder blushes this one's in peach there it is right there More like a natural pink. That's it. Let's see, you are pinched. Are these alike? Ah. That's it right there. And they are not alike. It's actually a lot more red than I thought. Hmm. Not as red as the Jordana one, but it's still fairly red. I don't think they sell these anymore on the e.l.f. website, which makes me sad because I saw them on sale recently. But it's an e.l.f. blush in Flushed. I don't have any of the studio blushes because I know I have all their colors somewhere in here. And that is it right here. Ooh, I got a little too much right there. Ooh, that is it right there on my knuckles. You got everywhere. And this is my last blush. It is a Model Co. blush in Peach Bellini. You're an orangey looking blush, but you are pigmented. I, for I forget a little bit about this one because I got it in an Ipsy bag and I used it when I got the Ipsy bag so that I can review it. Look at that sheen though. That's really pretty. Okay, uh, yeah. So that is my blush collection. I got rid of five. I got rid of the Wet n Wild by Fergie in Brush with Danger. I got rid of the Bare Minerals Loose Powder Blush in Laughter. I got rid of the Melissa Autry Blush in Blushing Rose. I got rid of the Silky Touch Blush by Essence and Life's a Cherry. And the Fox in a Box by Hard Candy and Smooth Talker. That is what it looks like right there. Not a lot, honestly. But, I mean, five is still better than none, right? Right, that's what we're gonna go with. All right, let me see how to fit these and see if I, I know I can't get them into one box, but let's see what I can do. Okay, so I did get them organized. Here's my first box. It did not change too much, but I have like all of my foreign blushes right here and here. I think Model Co is technically a foreign company. 
Oh my Milani, the physician's formula, my little NARS. Wet n Wild, Julep, Maybelline, that's the highlight blush. My Femme Couture, Jordana, NYX. And here is the other stack. This, like all of here and all of these are all my cream blushes and this is just what didn't fit in the other box. I would have loved to at least gotten all my powder blushes in one box and then like all my creams in another, but it didn't quite work out because these are the blushes that I do either really love or I just bought in a couple of cases and I want to give a fair try. This is the only one that I don't even want to give a fair try because, well, it it's too chalky and it looks just like other stuff I have. Too many, like those three matte pink blushes that I swatched together thinking they were all alike but they weren't. Between the three of those, I don't need this at all. But yeah, that's it. And of course I have my two that are my weekly makeup basket sitting on the side, but obviously this would go in here when it's not being used, but that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope, as always, I really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.